Barbers, do you understand what you've got yourself into when you decided to be a barber? So, before we get into the video, I need you to subscribe to my YouTube. Hit that notification bell. That way, you can get a notification whenever I drop something new. If you find any value in the video, I need you to hit the like button as well. Now, I've been in the game over a decade, right? And I built myself up from the barber that's behind the chair to the barber that was able to grow his social media, monetize that following, and also establish myself as a leader in the industry. You hit the ebook link down below, you will see that I have ebooks that will help you achieve every level that I have achieved. I got ebooks to teach you how to build clientele, personal development, growing your social media, and also how to navigate as a six figure barber. And I also have a newsletter. You can visit coldcuts.com, sign up for my weekly newsletter. That way you can stay up on game on what the topic is or what the next subject gonna be. You can be a little bit ahead of the game. You see a lot of content dropping, but you wanna get ahead of that, you wanna know what the topic is for the week, subscribe to my newsletter so you can stay on top of that. If you wanna reach your full potential as far as cutting hair, you wanna use the best tools possible, right? You can visit clutchbarbersupply.com, use code COLDCUTS10 and get you a 10% discount on some of the most prestigious tools available on the market. As an experienced barber, it's only right that I have coaching packages available. I got a one-on-one -on -one coaching package where you jump on the call with me every week and I teach you how to navigate in the game, teach you how to navigate on social media and all the things that you need to be successful as a barber. I also have a one-on-one -on -one in-person training where I come to you no matter what city or state you in and I coach you for an entire week, right? Coming to the shop with you, I'm coming to the gym with you. We're gonna get you right. I'm gonna put you on my program and I'm gonna get you right and have you ready as long as you keep doing those things. You can visit coldcuts.com and get access to those as well. And if you can't pay it all out of pocket up front, we'll partner with PayPal Pay Later to where you will be able to make payments in small increments over an extended period of time but you'll be getting the value immediately. So make sure y'all check that out at coldcuts.com. Grab you some of these eBooks, grab you some of these products. That way you can get ahead in this industry and you won't be behind. We trying to go to the next level, baby. Let's get back into the video. Did you understand what you was getting yourself into? And let me tell you something about being a barber. And a lot of y'all barbers out there witnessing this right now. A lot of y'all be talking about, oh man, it's hard. Y'all talking about, oh, I ain't doing so well, or whatever complaints you got, I need you to understand something. I need you to give yourself a little bit more credit, right? I need you to give yourself a little bit more credit as a barber. You got to understand, you jumping out in this thing as an entrepreneur, right? You are literally marketing, you are advertising, you are, you know, building a brand and you are doing all of this while you secure an income and pay your bills with that same business that you're doing all this shit for. I, I need you to understand that. I don't think you understand that. I don't think you understand how serious that is. I don't think a lot of y'all understand how serious that is. You know? You have to wear, you have to wear a lot of hats. You wear a lot of hats. One minute, you got your marketing hat on, right? You a marketer for your business, right? Digital marketing, get that. Then the next moment, you got your clientele building hat on. You trying to build clientele and, and retain clients and, and right, you in charge of customer relations, right? And then you got another hat on, you a social media manager, right? And then you got another hat on where you are the CFO, the chief financial officer, right? You got to manage the finances of your company. And then another hat, you the CEO, you the chief executive officer, you make all the big decisions, the final decisions to where this company gonna go, right? There's a whole lot of hats you have to wear as a barber or a stylist. And 
you have to wear all of those hats and you have to perform all of those duties. You have to build a brand. You have to market. You have to build clientele all while paying your bills with the income from this very same business. And a lot of y'all are achieving that. You better give yourself a little more credit. But see, my question is this. Do you understand what you have gotten yourself into? Do you understand? See, a lot of barbers or stylists don't understand what they've gotten themselves into. Then when all of these duties start to come to them and they start to have to wear all of these different hats, then that's when the challenges come. Then this when they go back to a nine to five, when they go start to try to drive trucks, go start to try to sell real estate, they go try to do other shit because they can't wear all of these hats, right? If you are a barber or a stylist, I need you to understand that it's going to get real. There's a lot of things that you are signing up for, right? You, as a barber, you are an independent contractor. You are self-employed, right? You actually work for every individual client that gets in your chair. So if your appointments are 30 minutes, you work for that person. You are independently contracted to that person for 30 minutes. If your haircuts are an hour, you are independently contracted to that person for an hour. Now you are contracted to that person for the abilities that you have mastered or you may deem yourself good at. But you do work for someone. I'm tired of hearing that statement. Y'all barbers talking about, oh, I don't work for nobody, I work for myself. Well, cut your own goddamn hair and, and pay your own goddamn self and let's see how that works. Let's see how that economy work. Let's see how the economy of you and you work, of you paying you for your own services. You do not work for yourself. You work for every individual client that gets into your chair. You are an independent contractor. Now, you do choose who you work for. Yes, you do choose which services that you want to perform. Yes, you do choose um, what type of environment you want to have and all that other shit. Yes, you do. But however, you do work for somebody, right? And building a sustainable barber career, you're going to have, you're, you, you're signing up to do a whole lot of shit that you may not be ready for. You are right. You may not have been prepared for, right? So I did the digital influence um, workshop in Houston over the weekend and I noticed a lot of older barbers didn't understand how, well, how a lot of them at first they felt like they didn't need social media, but now they're realizing that they do. If it ain't to just build clientele because they probably already built, they're probably already established, they're trying to take their career to the next level. And, and, and they're realizing that they need social media. That's another hat that they have to put on. And sadly enough, a lot of barbers don't want to put on that hat. They're avoiding putting on these different hats that it take to be successful in this industry. And if you avoid putting on those different hats, you either going to pay somebody to do those, do those things for you or you're going to do them yourself. And a lot of us barbers perform a lot of these duties ourselves, right? Barbers and stylists. We market for ourselves. We manage our social media ourselves. We manage our finances ourselves. We are uh, focusing on business growth strategies ourselves. We are branding ourselves. All of that, right? And, and like I said, a lot of y'all don't give yourself enough credit for that. But sadly enough, a lot of barbers not even doing that, right? They're dodging these things that they know they have to do in order to grow. They're dodging it. 
And I say to those people, they just don't know what they signed up to do. They don't know what they signed up for. You thought you signed up to be a barber that you was just going to pick up a pair of clippers, stand behind a chair, and just, just people just going to come to you because you got a license and you say you're a barber. That's not how the game work. That's not how it work. See, you the one that said you wanted to be a barber. So when 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 barbering start to challenge you, when barbering starts to uh, 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 force you to change and force you to get into uncomfortable situations and have uncomfortable circumstances in order for you to grow don't get mad don't be ready to quit like you signed up to wear all these different hats you signed up to to be challenged you signed up to grow you are in a profession where you deal with other people and you need to understand that when you're dealing with other people, you're going to need to grow as an individual first, then your business will grow. Right. Pay attention to all the hats that you have to put on in order to be successful as a barber. Right. I did it. Right. I got into this industry not knowing nothing. Right. I didn't pick up a pair of clippers until I went to barber college. Right. First, I had to learn how to cut, right? Learned some of it in barber college. Learned some of it from the students was there. Learned some of it from the instructors. But still, after barber school, there was still a lot of learning to do. So I had to be my own barber instructor and teach myself how to cut. Once I got that down packed and mastered that, then I had to teach myself how to be better with people. Had to do some personal development, had to deal with some traumas, had to do a whole lot of shit, right? Got better with people, so the clientele got built, right? I built it even more when I became my own social media uh, 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 manager and marketer, right? And then I said, you know what? I'm doing okay on social media as a barber that wanted clients, and I'm... I'm, I'm pretty good with people now so 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 now i wanted to start to uh expose other barbers to the knowledge that i have that's asking to be a platform artist that's asking to be an educator i didn't have nobody around to teach me so guess what i had to put on that hat teach myself how to speak on camera teach myself how to record content teach myself how to give uh, presentations, teach myself how to, to make slides and, 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 and write books, right? I had to teach myself all of that. So then I had to be my own publicist, right? I had to control the type of content that I put out based on the image and based on my brand, right? So I had to be my own publicist. Right. I put on a whole lot of different hats while managing my finances and all that other stuff. There's a whole lot of different hats that I had to put on in order to get to where I'm at. Right. So if you are trying to get to this level, you need to understand that there's a whole lot of hats that you're going to have to put on. See, a lot of y'all barbers out there are actually dodging the hats that you have to put on. And like I said, you could pay somebody else to do some of these things. But if you're a new barber, obviously you don't have the financial reach to get that done. So you got to do them yourself in the beginning. You need to understand there's a lot of hats that you have to put on. And it's a lot of barbers out here that's putting on all those hats. And it's hard. I get it. You got to give yourself a little bit more credit. You are doing a lot. Right? We all know. A lot of shops do not help you build clientele, right? They gave you a place to cut. Appreciate that, but they do not help you build clientele. Not all of them. 
You got to build your own clientele. You got to market uh, uh, your services. You got to advertise your services. You got to create your market. Right? You have to uh, um, tell yourself you're going to go to the next level. You got to give yourself a promotion. You got to give yourself a raise. Right? Then you got to learn a process of raising your prices. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to do. You are in control of your growth. You are in complete control of your growth. So how far you go in your barber career is based off of you, right? So you got to be your own manager because you got to give yourself a raise, right? And you got to be your own hard worker, right? You got to be the worker that deserve a raise to you, uh, from yourself, right? Because remember, all the roles are on you. I don't think a lot of barbers understand what they are signing up for. And you need to understand, as a barber, you are signing up for a lot of different things. You're signing up to, be, uh, uh, to have many roles in order for you to be successful. And you need to understand that. Understand that. I have ebooks that point you in the right direction. I have ebooks that show you exactly what to do. You need to be in you need to be getting those things. When I have these workshops, you need to be pulling up. Because this level here in this level up is going to be supported. You have some form of direction. You can take some of those hats off when you get in and when you start to read my books listen to my content and pull up to these workshops you know what i mean you are going to start to um learn things that can help you grow that's me reaching back right i didn't have a lot of these resources right but y'all need to understand that this game that i'm kicking on this social media this shit ain't for fun this shit ain't for show i ain't trying to be popular to nobody I'm trying to give y'all what I didn't have. So if you're avoiding buying the ebook, you're avoiding buying it, purchasing the ticket when I do workshops, then that's you, uh, um, you defeating yourself right there, right? You holding yourself back, you in your own way at that point, right? Because we putting this shit out here to help, right? You, you didn't have too many of these. Hell, you really don't have many, much of this now. A lot of barbers don't go live like I go live. They don't talk and be real with y'all like I be real with y'all. A lot of these barbers get on camera and they have all these planned speeches and these planned talks and stuff, right? And they, they, they do all this shit in the content to try to get you to look. And, you know, they playing all these finesse games and stuff. It ain't actually giving you no value, right? They jumping around and they dancing around. Some of them fat. Some of them ain't living right in real life. Some of them ain't addressing their issues in real life. They ain't the, 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 the they, they don't have the complete package. They looking at barbers like me and they trying to do what I do. They trying to imitate what I'm doing. When that's fine, you got to really be putting the work in, right? You got to really be doing this in real life. It's one thing to cut on the camera and jump on, on, on here and say, hi, guys. Hi, barbers. This is we, what we're going to talk about today. That's easy to do. And y'all know how fake that shit is. Y'all catch it every time. That's why them, th those type of people don't get a lot of views and, and a lot of shares and all that type of stuff. Right? You don't have a lot of barbers giving you that authenticity. They come on here being fake. You know, they just want to be somebody so bad. They want to be somebody so bad that they can't even be themselves. They want to be somebody so bad they doing all the, they trying to do everything right or they try to do everything they see somebody doing, but they don't know the true essence of what that person is doing because you're not practicing those things in real life, right? You don't get that a lot. 
A lot of these barbers just want to be an influencer just so they can feel like they somebody. But they don't want to actually put their work in. They don't want to actually, they don't hit the gym. They don't eat right. They haven't fixed the relationships in their life. They haven't dealt with their traumas. Right? They just want attention online to make them feel good. That's it. They ain't truly giving no value. See, I'm going to get on camera and tell you some shit that you might not want to hear, but you need to hear. Because that's what matters. I'm not speaking to your pleasure. I'm speaking to your pain. Because before you get to all the good shit and the glitz and the glamour, you need to get to the ugly, dark, dirty shit and get it handled. So you can get to the glitz and glamour. Right? We not for the bullshit over here. I need y'all to understand that. So don't rob yourself by not tapping in. Don't. You ain't robbing me. I'm going to make money regardless. Anyway, um, yeah, we might be doing a digital influence sometime in... Um, in 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 um in 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 March this month, so y'all stay posted for that because we had this one in Houston, sold out event and it went well. And I need uh uh y'all to stay tapped in. We are probably about to do the same thing in Dallas. It's a high chance we are going to do it in Dallas. We're going to do it probably at the end of this month, and and. If you're in the Dallas area or surrounding areas around now, get ready for it. When I put that link up to purchase those tickets, start to buy them, right? Because we're going to get it in. We on, a, we, are, we on a tour right now. We on a tour right now. Real talk. Barbara's going to get this game. Man, we had a valuable session. I, I, a lot of shit is just it's, it's like a closed group. I can't even tell you. You should have been there, but... We're going to do that same thing again, and we're going to actually help barbers grow, right? We actually are. Anyway, I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Told y'all, these lives are going to be short. We're going to get them in and get out of here. Y'all wake y'all asses up. Appreciate y'all for tapping in.